Welcome to the Code to Catch Up podcast. My name is Jamie Jones. In this episode, I want to talk about something awesome that Heroku's done, uh, which is a trend we're seeing with a lot of other hosting providers, is they've announced free and automated SSL certificates for all paid dinos. So dinos are kind of like web services. Um, now, this is only for paid dinos. So if you're on, on the free tier, then yeah, you're going to miss out. But at the same time, it kind of makes sense that you, you won't have one on the free tier. Uh, there's also fairly affordable uh, paid tiers anyway. So basically, they've announced the general availability of automated certificate management, which they're calling ACM. Uh, And basically with ACM, the kind of cumbersome process of provisioning and just generally managing SSL certificates, uh, it's replaced with a very free or very simple free service that you don't have to worry about it. So it's going to handle everything for you. So you're renewing your provisioning, etc. So really really handy there and it's something you should be doing uh with every website basically going forward i I don't see a reason why you wouldn't uh because it is free or or at least there is a free way to do it and it's very simple to do no matter what your skill level there's ways that you can get that happening on your website or web application easily so with this uh heroku free ssl it's issued by let's encrypt so if you haven't checked out let's encrypt please do check it out i've got a podcast on it from a fair while ago i think now uh there's also on the youtube channel there is a video on how to actually install that on a apache based server uh, and the change log was actually come out recently with a fantastic episode all about let's encrypt so i highly recommend checking that one out as well so how does it work so every time you upgrade from a free dino to a hobby or professional dino so that's the, the basically the two tiers that heroku has they'll automatically generate a certificate for all custom domains on your application. Uh, they're saying here that you will need to ensure that your application's custom domains are pointed to the correct DNS targets as specified in Heroku domains. Now, for existing applications, uh, all you have to do is run a couple little commands uh, via the CLI tool. So it's Heroku certs auto enable, and then you just pass in the app name. Uh, and then, you know, if you want to verify those, you just run Heroku certs auto and make sure everything's covered by ACM. So that's essentially it. It's, it's quite nice to see that they've done this and they've made it generally available. Uh, it would have been nice to have it on free dinos, but at the same time, I can understand why they wouldn't. But this is a really great step forward and it's something I'm seeing across the board with hosting providers and they make it so simple to put in place. Uh, Laravel has theirs and they've got it where it's basically a press of a button and bang, it's on there. It's fantastic. I'm seeing this across various other providers as well. And because of uh, Let's Encrypt, oh, it really is because Let's Encrypt, they've, they've changed the game in SSL and really trying to push that forward thanks to the EFF, so the, the Electronic Frontier Foundation. And their tools like CertBot, the Acme client, that just makes it really simple. Like it, it's a couple of commands to run. Uh, so if you have to do it yourself on your own server, it's basically a couple of commands, very simple commands. You can pretty much copy and paste uh, with just updating a couple of things and, and it's very straightforward. So if you are on Heroku, this is a huge win for you. I highly recommend checking that out and getting it put in place for existing applications. And if you're looking to do a new application soon, then that's just a, an instant win for you without having to do any work. Uh, but I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Have you been switching over your applications or websites to Let's Encrypt? How have you found that? Have you found any drawbacks to it? I know I haven't found any at all. It's been in fairly painless uh, there are some quirks around some areas which I might do a follow-up episode on but uh actually i might do it as a podcast uh, sorry as a, a video on uh, youtube so look out for that one if you haven't subscribed to the youtube channel make sure you go and check that out i'm um, doing some kind of like weekly vlogs as well as maybe the odd vlog here and there plus tutorials and other things on that so make sure you check that out but other than that, that's it. Uh, if you do have a spare few moments, I'd appreciate if you can leave a rating and review in iTunes. Uh, also subscribe, tell your friends, that'd be fantastic. But other than that, we'll catch the next episode.